Paul D'Alavera, attorney from the law firm of D'Alavera & Associates. Slip and fall accidents. You need to show two things in order to be able to recover or get a settlement rather from a slip and fall accident case. One is negligence. We need to prove that the party other than yourself, the person responsible, whether it's a homeowner or a business or a landlord, is negligent or at fault. And we're going to get into some common types of negligence cases. And the second thing is, is insurance. We need to have insurance to recover unless the person who's at fault has a lot of assets. But that's not usually the case. Usually, if someone has assets, they're going to have insurance. So some common types of slip and fall cases that we've seen. And remember, we have to be able to prove that it wasn't the person who slipped and fell's fault. We need to prove that it was someone else's fault or negligence in order to recover. So the most common type is a defect. Typical type of situation is somebody is up on the second floor, they're renting from their landlord, their landlord either knows or should have known about some type of a defect like a hand railing or a light bulb was out or the stairway was broken or a number of different types of situations. And that was the cause of the person getting injured. So a person's walking down the stairs, let's say, they go to grab the handrail because they lose their balance and the handrail either isn't there, it's broken or it pops out of the wall. So that's your typical type of case is a defect. Another type is we see a lot of is holes in parking lots, especially with commercial places where we see these. If a person owns a commercial property, they are responsible to keep their parking lots safe. And a lot of times, especially in New England, we get a lot of snow and ice, you get these holes that form inside parking lots and a person can fall and break an ankle or hurt their back or whatever. Another situation we see a lot in this New England area is ice and snow. Those are a little trickier, these ice and snow cases. But essentially, we have to be able to prove that the person such as the owner of the property or the landlord or the person who owns a business should have shoveled and sanded to remove ice and snow. A typical type of case that we see is with gas stations where a person goes to pump their own gas, they go out to their car and there's a patch of ice and they slip and fall. Well, that's negligence in my opinion. Now they always are going to argue that, oh you should have seen it or whatever, but in that type of situation usually we can settle those types of cases. But anyway, it's an involved situation. If you have a slip and fall case, feel free to call us toll free or fill out a contact form in confidence as we'd be happy to discuss your case with you. We charge no fee until you obtain a settlement or a recovery and you would be able to recover for your lost income, medical bills, and pain and suffering. Thank you.